everyone. Hello, hello. I'm not sure if this is recording. Internet's a bit spotty today. Ah, hello. Hello, everyone. Ah, the internet has been on and off a bit spotty today, so we will see how this works. I wanted to come to you from my studio today to talk to you a bit about some of my favorite must-have tools that uh, I would recommend any painter have. So to start off with, let's have a little chat about paintbrushes. Basically, you have two choices, multiple choices, but your first big choice is whether or not you want to do a hog hair which has natural fiber bristles or a synthetic. Mm -hmm. Right there. That's my favorite right there. And the owner of Swinton's Art Supplies, Doug Swinton, actually sent me this one time and said, Caprice, you have to try it. And I have been hooked ever since. They keep their shape very, very well. And so I have switched the last few years to these synthetics. They're Princeton 6300 series. Those are my favorites. And there are all different shapes of brush brushes. This is a round brush, which works great for depending on what you're going to be doing. I tend to go to the filbert and I like them a lot. And there's flats. And then you can get the round bristles as well. All personal preference I can't say one is better than the other all I can say is that I I learned to paint on this kind of a paintbrush so that is what I always go to but these can be really fun when you're working on flowers or things like that I watched a documentary on Van Gogh and in the documentary they had somebody playing the role of Van Gogh and they used these types of brushes so I always call it my Van Gogh brushes so they're a lot of fun and um but I don't use them nearly as often as I'd like to. And um, the other thing I would like to talk about is a painting palette. Now, this is a disposable painting palette. And um, they are in tear-off sheets. And a lot of students have arrived with this size of a palette and I gotta tell you, it's not a good idea to go small with your painting palette. You wanna have room to mix your colors and you're gonna feel very, very cramped on this size of a palette. So the smallest palette you should use is a 12 by 16 because that will give you plenty of room to get your paint puddles on there and it'll give you plenty of space to mix and experiment with your colors and just have a really good time. And in no way do I want you to feel cramped or, you know, having to be, you know, frugal with your paints. Uh, it's really a good tip to give yourself enough space to really have some fun, see how different colors interact and um, just really take time and don't do anything that's going to limit you in the painting mixing process because you want to be able to have fun on your canvas and you're not going to do that if you're already limiting yourself on your actual palette. So take the time to really just mix up some good colors and keep it, keep it fun, keep it fresh and that will keep it new. And this is the type of paint that I use. It is Classico My Mary Paints. And this is a medium grade type of paint. And again, I learned to paint with this type of paints, Classico My Mary. It's not the easiest kind of paint to find. Not everybody's got it available, but um, there are higher grade paints. I've used Gamblin and I've used Grumbacher. I've tried every single kind of paint uh, that's available. Not everyone, that's a bit of an exaggeration. I've used many, I've spent you know, $100 on a tube of paint. And I keep going back to this, this Classico paint because it's what I learned on and it's a very good paint as far as I'm concerned. Not all artists will agree with that, but it's, you know, um, you can buy them in the larger size tubes and 
they have a good staying quality. I have seen paintings that I've done, you know, 25 years ago and they still look fantastic. So they've got the durability and they will last through the years. So I can't tell you um, exactly how long they will last. They are not the top of the line paint, but you know, they work super well. And I use, I, I, I like to use the best quality that I can because I'm a pro I'm a professional painter. So I use the best that is offered to me and I still keep going back to this classical paints. So I recommend that to all my students because it's not too, too expensive. And you really do want to put, if you're going to take oil painting lessons and start painting, it's really a good idea to make your initial investment and then you don't have to spend a lot of money as you go. Um, these paints will last you for quite a while and these brushes, if you take good care of them, they will last you a long time, many, many years. So I highly recommend that you do um, spend the initial investment on your brushes. And if you don't have good brushes and good paints, then you are not going to produce a good painting. That is all there is to it. You have to start out with good quality materials. So those are my three must have tips. The good paint brushes that you can clean these, by the way, with sunlight, soap and water. And if you clean them in, get in there with your, with your nails and you really keep on scrubbing and scrubbing until all the bubbles come clean, these brushes will last you and you probably will not need to even invest in another set of brushes if you take good enough care of them. So worth the investment, you need a good quality paint. And if you have the funds, I would suggest you do try different kinds of paint. Try the Gamblin and the Grumbacher and the Windsor Newton, all of those types of paints. Give them a go. And if you're like me, you'll come back to the classical paints. Maybe it's because I'm biased that I learned with these, but they are such good paints. So you know, do some experimenting. And it's the same with your brushes. Experiment with the hog hair and with the different shapes. And if you like them, go with that. There's no right or wrong as long as you have the good quality. And again, my third tip is the uh, paint palette. It's a must have that you've got enough space to mix proper colors. If you're feeling cramped, then you are not going to do a good job of your color mixing and you will wind up with mud and you'll be spending half of your paint day scraping off the pre-mixed puddles and starting over. You do not want to waste your afternoon scraping off paint. You want to have freedom. So make sure you really, you know, start out before you even pick up your paintbrush. You must start out with the proper supplies and you'll be, that's halfway to a good painting is right there. Um, so if any of you have any questions, do feel free to uh, post them in the section over here. I really would like to uh, see who's on today. I can't, I'm not even quite sure how you tell who's viewing. I got, it says I've got three people on, but I don't know who you are. Hmm. Go for I'm still at this, this Facebook's live is still all new to me. Uh, but, oh well, if you guys are there, please do say hello in the comment section. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask and I will either comment in the live session or else I will answer your comments later on. I know many of you will be watching this, uh, throughout the week. This will be still posted in my, in my, in my news feed, so you can watch it at any time and, um, for those of you who are here watching me live, I really appreciate your you being here. Thank you very much. Um, and I do hope you've had a great week. I am planning on doing a Facebook Live every Monday at 1 o'clock. Ah, Ian is here. Hello, Ian. There, thank you. That's my first comment. Hey. Um, yeah, I'm going to be doing this every week, uh, giving more tips, more suggestions. Brenda's here too. Yes, way to go, Brenda. Thank you for being here on Saturday for the painting lecture. That was great having you there. Your questions were awesome and so appreciated. Um, and
and if you have any painting questions at all that you would like me to address in my weekly Monday session, please feel free. Uh, Brenda, you were actually one of the reasons why I decided to talk about the paints today because that was your question on Monday, or pardon me, that was your question on Saturday about do you use some less expensive paints? And um, my thoughts on that is I think you should go with the My Mary Classical Paints because you're gonna, even with your palette knife painting, you're going to do a better knife painting with good quality paints. So that's my grand decision after thinking about that for a few days. So thanks for that. Uh, if anybody else uh, has any questions throughout the week, something comes to mind, just send me a note and I will talk about it next Monday. I hope you all have a fabulous week and thank you very much for being here and for following along. Okay, have a great day. Bye for now, everyone.